Okay, for this project, I am using Peaches and Cream. It's a 100% cotton four ply yarn, but you don't have to use cotton. You can use acrylic or whatever you have. Just any kind of four ply yarn will work. And then I'm going to be using a size J. Um, it's a six millimeter crochet hook. Okay. You want to just go ahead and start off with your slip knot. And you want to go ahead and make a chain of three. One, two, three. And now we're going to slip stitch back into the first one to form a ring. If you want to use the magic circle here, that's okay too. Okay, now I'm just going to chain one. Okay, I'm going to go back through the center and do a single crochet. Go through the ring and do a single crochet. Now what I'm going to do now is chain three. three and now I'm going to slip stitch back into the top of that single crochet. I like to go into this stitch and then this side stitch here like that and then I just do a slip stitch and what that's going to do is put a little ball at the end. Slip stitch and now I'm going to go back through the center of the ring and do just a regular single crochet. Like that. So now you have that little ball there. So now I'm going to do another single crochet and this one I'm going to put the little ball at the end of it. So I'm going to chain three. And then I'm going to go back and slide. You can see right here I go through this loop and this loop. So. Those are the two loops I go through. And then I slip stitch. Like that. And now I'm going to go through the center of the ring again and do another single crochet. That tail keeps getting in my way. Like that. And you can slide them over as you go because they'll start to get close together. Now I'm going to do another single crochet and I'm going to put a little ball at the end of this one. So I'm going to chain three. Go through these two loops right here. Slip stitch. Oops. And then do another single crochet through the center. So what I'm going to do is a total of five of them little ball stitches with a single crochet in between. So I'm on my third one. Getting ready to go. I did three so I'm going on my fourth one. So I'm going to single crochet, chain three, go back into the top here, slip stitch, and then do a regular single crochet through the center. Like that. Slide these over a little bit. So there's four. So I'm going to do one more. So single crochet, chain three, go through and slip stitch through these two stitches. And then do one, my last single crochet through there like that. So now I got five of the little ball stitches with a single crochet in between each of them. Now I'm just going to go right here into the next stitch and slip stitch. And I'm going to clip 
this off. Now I'm going to start with my next color. And if you pull your center tail, sometimes it'll make that circle close up a little bit more like that. So now I'm going to start with my next color. Okay. I'm going to start. Get the right side facing me. So I can show you here. And the stitch right next to the one of the points. So like right there. And I'm going to start by doing a chain of six. Four, five, six. And now what I'm going to do is just reach it over and slip stitch into the very next stitch right here. And slip stitch. And now I'm going to slip stitch again over into this very next stitch. You can see it right there. It's right next to this ball. Slip stitch into that one. And now I will do my chain six again. Two, three, four, five, six. Come all the way over and slip stitch into the next stitch right there. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch right next to my ball there. And I'm going to do a chain of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slip stitch into the next one right here. stitch and then slip stitch over again to the next one. Do my chain of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slip stitch into the very next one on the other side of the ball. And then slip stitch again into the now we're going to be working in these chain six spaces. So I'm going to slip stitch over into the very first loop. And once you slip stitch over to it, I'm going to start by chaining one. Now every uh, every space is going to be worked the same. So we slip stitch into it, and then we chain one. Now I'm going to do a single crochet, two half double crochets, one, two, and now I'm going to do three doubles, but on the middle one I'm going to put a point, just like we did down here. So here's one double, two doubles, on this one is where I'm going to put that point. So now I'm going to chain three, go back into the top of it, and I go through these two stitches and slip stitch, and that'll put our little ball or our little point at the top of it. Now I'm going to go back and do another double crochet for a total of three doubles. Now I'm going to go back down and I'm going to put two half doubles, one, two, one single, 
and then a slip stitch down here at the bottom. So that completes the first petal. Now I'm going to do jump over to the next spot. I'm going to slip stitch over to it and chain one. Now I'm going to work a single crochet, two half double crochets, one, two. On the middle one is where I'm going to put the point or the ball on top of it. So there's one, two, this is where we're going to put the little point or the ball. So we do a chain three, go back and slip stitch through the top of it. And then, then we do our third one, just do another double crochet like that. So that's our three doubles. Now I'm going to work down and do two half doubles. A single. And a slip stitch. And that is our second petal. So now we're going to work into the next one the exact same way. So I'm going to slip stitch over to the next uh, chain space, chain one, now I'm going to single crochet, two half doubles, one, two, now I'm going to do my three doubles, but the middle one is going to have the point or the ball on it. So there's one, two, now we chain three, go back through the top, slip stitch, and then we do our last double. And now we go back down and do two half doubles. One single. And one slip stitch. And then that's our third petal. Now we're just going to do the last two petals the exact same way. Just slip stitch over and start again. Okay, I just I just did my last petal and I did my last slip stitch into there. Now what I'm going to do is jump over to here and I'm going to slip stitch into the first slip stitch of that petal. Like that. And now I'm going to clip my yarn and tie that off. And I'm going to hide these tails. Okay, once you get all your tails in, I kind of just straighten out my petals. Go around and get them all straightened up. Hold my points. And that's it. That's all there is to it. It's a really easy flower. Didn't take very long. Super cute. Um, if you make this or you know, it would be good to, to sew it on something, you know. A hat or something. I might maybe I'll make a hat and sew it on there. But if you make this just by yourself, or if you make it and sew it on something, I'd really like to see it. You can post a picture on my Facebook page. And please don't forget to check out my channel. I have a whole bunch of a bunch of stuff. So, um, but that's it. Until next time, have a good day.